Okay guys, this is just gonna be a super quick tutorial to show you how to sell digital products on Shopify. I have done a video before here that shows you how to upload digital uh, templates, digital files to Etsy. And so if you wanna know how to do that, you can watch this video, but this one is gonna show you how to add the digital products to Shopify. And I use pretty much the same um, idea when I upload products to Shopify but I'm gonna show you which app that I use and um, how all of that the process works. So um, let's jump into it. So um, inside of Shopify, you'll go to the Shopify app store and you can type in digital downloads and it's gonna pull up a bunch of different options. And you will notice that most of these will say free plan available or free to install or whatever. And then there's this little guy here that has a sad little rating of 2.8 stars but it is completely free. And you guys, I have never had an issue with this. I've used this the entire time. I have run my digital download store on Shopify and had zero issues. So this is the one you want to download. Once you have downloaded that, let me show you where you, how to get to that. You're gonna go under apps. You're gonna to go to apps and sales channel settings, Shopify app store, and that's where you'll be able to find it. And then you just search here for digital downloads. And there it is, okay. So once you have downloaded that, it is gonna give you the option to add digital products to your store and actually have a digital file connected to them. So this is our digital business planner that I have, um, and it comes with so many different files. So I obviously can't upload you know, eight template links, a digital planner ready to use, a keynote file, all that kind of stuff. So once again, I go inside of Canva and I create a PDF file. And um, let me go into Canva and I'll show you what that looks like. Um, all right, this is one of my templates that I do. So this is the thank you letter that I enclose with each of my products. It has just a quick little explanation of the product if, you know, thanking them for the purchase. Then down here, I add the links to my tutorial videos. And then this is a template link. This is another template link that happens to come with this one. And then if it's a PLR product, then below here I add the PLR license. So then I save this as a PDF. So when I download it, I save it as a PDF standard and that way all of the links and stuff work. And if you don't know how to add links, you simply, once you have typed your words, then you click these three dots, hit link, and then you copy your template link or your video link or whatever into that. So this is going to be the only thing you have to attach to your product inside of Shopify or Etsy. Um, so on Shopify then, once you've put all of your details in, you've added your pictures and those types of things, you wanna make sure under shipping that this is not checked because it's not a physical product. We're not shipping anything. Now you would think that they would, inside of Shopify, go ahead and add a, hey, this is a digital product and here's a file. But so far, they've not added that as a, just a standalone feature inside of Shopify. But we have downloaded our digital file keeper. And so all you're gonna do is click this. You will have to save, hang on, let me back up. You will have to save the product first before you can go in and add the digital file. It'll be like, ah, oh, you sure you wanna leave the page? No, you don't wanna leave the page, you want to save it. And I always save it as a draft first until I get the file uploaded and then I make it active because I don't want somebody to run in and make a purchase, especially now that I have a lot more traffic to my store, somebody might grab it and they don't get the file because I haven't got it uploaded yet. So save it as a draft first and then you can go in and hit add digital file. Now. It will only allow you to upload one file at a time unless your product has variants. Um, you can add variants inside of Shopify. We're in Etsy with digital products. You cannot add different variants to it, but inside of Shopify, you actually can. Um, for this example, I just have one variant. Um, I have that uh, the full planner, and this is the thank you note that I created here. And so I just hit add file, I click the PDF that I have saved and it's there. And then I hit, you can go, if you hit digital files, it's actually gonna take you back to all the digital files that you have uploaded in your shop. If you hit view in admin, then that is where um, 
you can go back and actually see your product and make it active. I can't remember if it has like a save button. If there's a save button, make sure you push it. I don't remember if one pops up here after you upload the file, but um, if it says save, hit save. If it doesn't, then just go to view and admin. I can't remember if it does or not. I don't think it does. Um, but then you're going to then come in here, switch to active, hit save on that, and then that's it. Like that's literally all you have to do. If you are, uploading more than one option, that's where you're going to have, you know, more files to upload, but it's the same process. Um, but you know, if you had, I don't know, a pink version and a gray version of this same thing, then you could add the other version in here. And then whenever you went to, um, upload the files, it would give you the option to upload a file to each of those versions. But that's it, you guys. That's all you have to do. And my entire store is all done in digital files, digital products. And like I said, I've had zero issues with it. So if you have questions, put them in the comments. But that is the quick tutorial on how to upload digital products to Shopify.